Hi, I'm Pam, CEO of Business in the Bible. We're here tonight, and I'd like to thank my special guest, our sponsor, Kenny Troy with Indie Music Network.com and also Troy Town Entertainment LLC. Welcome, Troy. We're glad to have you tonight. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. Amen. So tonight, guys, of course, you know, we're going to talk about business in the Bible, that they're not separate. And I want to start off with our scripture stance in Luke. We talk uh, the famous quote and saying that Jesus gave was, I must be about my father's business, Luke 2, uh, 49. And that's what we stand on every time we have our episode. And real quickly, we're just, gonna, just a little one back. If you missed some of the episodes before tonight, we have we started off talking about when Jesus was a little boy and he sat among the elders and he learned of them, get some wisdom. That was back in Matthew 3. And then we moved on to talk about um, how Jesus is interested in your business. And that's why we have business in the Bible, trying to help everybody to understand that your business and the Bible are not separate and they must work together. They have to work together for you to be successful, for God's hand to be on it. You have to put the kingdom first. We have to seek the kingdom first. Luke tells us that, you know, we have to seek the kingdom first. Then everything's going to be added unto you. So don't run after the money. Don't run after all the business first. Run after God first. Get with, get with the Lord and he will tell you what to do. And that was part of our uh, previous lesson about how Jesus told Peter to cast on the other side because he had toiled all night and didn't catch any fish. And then he he brought in the hall when he obeyed. So obeying, we talked about that in our prior lessons. And then we moved on to the next lesson to talk about prayer and supplication because a lot of people want to pray, God, I want this, God, I need this. That's not prayer. You want to pray the word of God first. Then the word says, and we're looking at Philippians 4, the word says pray, by prayer and supplication. So we we studied over supplication being the word deomi, which means want and a desire for oneself. So you pray the word first, then you make your request known to the Lord, what you want and what you desire. And But you got to do the kingdom first, then you, then you. Okay, and then we moved on and we talked about how God is really concerned about our business and about the money. And that's what that, that catches us up to come into a nice lesson. And I, uh, the last time I said, guys, if you, uh, uh, if you go in there and study a little bit, then you better catch up with us tonight. But before we go any further, we want to talk with Troy, uh, Kenny Troy. He's our sponsor and we're so happy and blessed to have him. And we're just so grateful for his kindness to help us spread the gospel, guys. And we invite you, because we are a nonprofit network, and we invite you to make uh, donations or become a sponsor or even a guest on my show. We would love to have you so we can teach the body of Christ the business side of what others do and what the Bible says about business. So, Kenny, I'd like to start off with you sharing the business side of what you do. Just give us some highlight on you going into the, uh, the radio business and entertainment business. I know it's been about 20 years or so that you've been in this business, so you're not a novice, so your tips are going to be val valuable for our listeners. Can you just give us a little business tip on what, what you do behind the scenes as um, a manager and uh, running the radio, the entertainment? Um, what I do behind the scenes is, um, well, the mission is to basically promote independent artists to get them on a higher, um, audience base and, and platform. Yes. And with the focus of the Indie Music Network, what we brought that into existence is we wanted to do that because a lot of the mainstream outlets were not promoting or, or even discovering new music or breaking new artists. So we wanted to take that time, take that um, that channel and use that as uh, because there's a lot of things people um, people have not heard of before or whoever, and we wanted to get this great music that's already been produced out there to to the masses. Amen. And that's what we want. We want to reach the masses. And we know that music does it good like a medicine. And people need music. It brings peace. It helps you relax. It helps you worship the Father. More than anything, worshiping the Father is the first thing you want to do. So we have to get the music out to the people. So we're thankful for people like you, Kenny, that are true to the Word of God, that have not separated business and a Bible, that you still keep them merged together, and, and that you still follow God's ways. We're so grateful for that. So yeah, 
yes, getting that music to the masses is so important. What you do and what others like that do the kind of work you do, we need you guys because we need that worship time. This world has got so much going on that we got to run to the Father and worship. So tell tell um, tell us, uh, Keeney, if you would share with us just a little bit more about, okay, we're reaching the masses and there are a lot of things that people don't know. Can you give two or three tips to um, – an artist that may want to, to get their music out to you or other people like you on, a, on your platform, what are the first two to three things that they really need to do that's important to help them be successful? Well, the first thing, the first thing they got to do is they got to have their music already ready to go, music bio and all other pertinent information. They ha That has to be together already for us to uh, consider it. Um, that's the, those are just the preliminaries and once that is all the package nicely and everything the presentation of it is that's the really important thing the second thing is the follow-up um, we, we encourage um, all artists if, if you submit something to us please follow up because we get so many so much music um, during the time so we would always what we call follow-up and then get or engagement because we want to, we want that engagement because that's important in far as building relationship in this business, which is the, the crucial part of even being successful in this business. Amen. Yes, guys. So you've got to have your stuff together. You want your presentation because God is a God of excellence and he wants you to do things in decency and order. So you can't just go to the radio station or platform like Kenny has and go, here, play my music. No, you have to have a presentation together. It's kind of like going on a job interview in a, in a way, right, Kenny? You, you present yourself to see if you're going to get hired. So you present your music to the radio station to make sure that they're going to play it and they're going to want to use you because if you come in there any kind of way, they're not Know what, their name and their rep is on the line. So, of course, they're not going to just throw anything out there on, on their uh, platform. So you have to come prepared and put a good presentation. And then he says to follow up, guys. It's just like a job. You go apply for a job, you just don't leave your resume and let it go. No, you follow up with a thank you. You follow up to see where, where, where everything is, if there's anything else you need to do. You know, there's follow up. So, Kenny, in, in presentation, I'm going to kind of backtrack for those that are brand new in, in the field that have don't, don't have a clue at all. A presentation. So in their presentation, can you give maybe an A, B, C, what's A, what's B, what's C in that presentation? Well, A is the, um, you must have the song tag properly. And what I mean by tag properly is um, the name of the song, who's it by, what album is it on, is it the first single, or what genre, and those things go in hand in hand of what the labeling of the song properly. Secondly, the song must sound, have a quality sound. Sound quality is very important because you don't want nothing that is below sound, um, below standards as far as sound being played on the radio. And that's the key is sound quality and the, the, the music must be tagged properly. And then the third thing is basically your whole bio press kit, that all has to be um, legit and, and, and the sources behind that. And every, every artist have a sort of a, a testimony behind their uh, story behind the way they get started. And we mm -hmm. just want to make sure that we promote that story out there because they came from this point to this point right now. And we want to make sure that we tell that story because that's what, resonates more with people than anything else. Wow, that is, that's interesting that you brought up some of those points just now because our lesson tonight is going to be about lying. <laughs> you, you can't hide anything from God. Everything done in the dark is going to come to the light, so you might as well tell it like it is and yeah. deal with the punches, you know, or consequences or whatever. So I'm glad you mentioned it because I was over here thinking, oh God, that's exactly what the lesson is about tonight, about how the couple lied to God. And oh well, we're going to talk about that when we come back. Guys, we're going to take a commercial break to hear from our sponsor, uh, Indy uh, musicnetwork.com and also Troy Town Entertainment LLC. Our sponsor, Kenny Troy, is with us tonight. We're going to take a commercial break and hear from them. Thank you for tuning in to Business in the Bible. You have been tuned in listening to Pam Jones and her guests. Pam airs every Wednesday at 12 noon Central Time. We want to give a shout out at this time right now to her sponsor, 
which is Indian Music Network. You can find them on social media networks, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and in Indie Music Network Radio. Visit them on the on the web at www. IndieMusicNetwork.com. Thank you from our sponsors, Indie uh, Music Network and Troy Town Entertainment. Thank you. Guys, we're here. To, I'm Pam Jones, CEO of Business and the Bible. And tonight I have our special guest, our sponsor, Kenny Troy. Um, and he has been talking about tips on what artists need to do when they want to present their music to the radio. And if you just if you're just tuning in really quickly, we talked about um, our scripture stands. We must be about our father's business. Business and the Bible are not separate. They must work together. And then Kenny shared some tips for artists that you need to come and present yourself in a good way, a good, excellent way. Your presentation, your follow-up, and then what needs to be in your package, your kit, when he, when um, you bring it to the radio station, when you uh, uh, present it to a manager or producer. So he's giving us some really great tips, guys. So if you missed the beginning of it, don't worry. You'll be able to replay and catch up. So now we're going to go into the second part of our business in the Bible, where we talk about um, God is very uh, concerned about our business. And when we look at Luke 12, 31, you find, you know, that, that the Bible tells us, but rather ye seek the kingdom of God and all things should be added unto you. What we've seen a lot of is people chasing the money and chasing fat, trying to be fast and get out there with their music, but it doesn't work that way. You have to go through the process. And that was a word that God shared this week, the process. You have to go through the process to get to the place where you sustain and you're solid and you can be victorious. But run and, 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 and having haste makes waste. So Kenny's going to share some more in just a little bit about what you can do to make sure you're successful after you present your music to the radio station. So another thing what we looked at, um, we're going to look at tonight rather in our word is we're going to talk about um, how Joe, tw in Joe 24, when people get so far ahead, sometimes artists forget that God is the one who gave them the gift to sing and the talent, and they kind of get ahead. Well, they exalt themselves. And Job 24, 1 tells us that God, you know, they were exalted for a little while. Guys, understand that. You may think you're getting away with it, but God sees everything. So don't exalt yourself beyond your measure, but beyond the platform God wants you to be on. So you have to take your time and go through the process. But if you get yourself exalted, here's what happens in, in Job 24. But, but, they are gone and brought low. Do you hear that? You exalt yourself before God, then he's going to bring you low. And they are taking off. Guys, God would take you off your platform and cut you down like the ears of corn. Oh, my goodness. And a lot of people don't realize this. Oh, I'm a good singer. I'm doing good. I'm selling music. I'm, I'm, doing, I'm all over the place. Well, if you're all over the place without God, guess what? You're going to be brought low. You know, so don't exhaust yourself before your time. And there are people like Kenny Choi, who's with us tonight, our sponsor. He um, helps artists get to the place where they need to be, where they're not going ahead of themselves, where they're getting prepared, where they have great presentation, they have their stuff together. And and then another thing he mentioned is some people come with a resume for music and they lie in their bio, guys. Everything that you do, God's going to show it. You may be getting away with it for a minute, but just in a little while, God's going to show up and, and put a light on your stuff. And then that's not good. You don't want to go backwards. It's better to come and be honest and, and give the information correctly. Don't try to make yourself look bigger than what you are or that you have all this experience. No, people like Kenny Troy, a good man of God who doesn't separate business from the Bible, he wants to help you. He wants to work with his artists, and he is very serious about what he does, but he's a very kind-hearted person. And Kenny, I tell you, I have um, talked to people out there, and when your name gets mentioned, all I hear is, he's a good guy. He's a good guy. Oh, yeah, he's a good guy. <laughs> and I wasn't inquiring. I was just mentioning you as my sponsor. And every time I say you're my sponsor, everybody goes, oh, wow, you're connected to a good guy. I'm like, what? So your name carries some weight out there in the good way, the kingdom way. So you're you're, you're representing the kingdom very well. So yeah. one of the things that we want to talk about, what Kenny mentioned, don't lie in the bio, is God doesn't want you to lie about your money and your business. If you're making money with selling your music, don't keep it from God. Don't hide from God. Because God knows how much you make. He knows, and the Holy Spirit will reveal what you're making. So don't hide it from the Lord. And you cannot 
uh, get before a man of God like Kenny. He's a man of God, even though he's in music, he's doing the gospel. That he's uh, he's doing ministry. So his business and God and the Bible are not separated. And he he will he, God will show him what's going on. So it's better that you be honest, Kenny. Can you give some tips to um to our viewers, our listeners, a little bit more about um when they come to you? They got their stuff together. They're giving a good presentation. They did the follow-up. You like their music. Now you're going to put them in the rotation. What's next? Once it's after, once it's after the rotation, um, it doesn't stop there. And um, we, we have to continue the process of really promoting them because 90% of the world still don't know about them. And that's on the, that's on the thing. So... The other, av the other avenue is blogs or interviews or something like that. You want to try to get into those things and try to get your name out there. Yes. Just for your music to be on rotation is still not enough because there's so much talent out here in the world and everybody is sort of at the same level. And then on the top of that, the industry itself is also changing directives and, and ways of how we access music. So it's going to be very difficult to navigate through these waters without having the type of promotion that goes behind it. And that's where, that's what you got to keep going as an artist. Amen. Good advice. Good tips too. And I love how you said navigate through the water because you know, we're river in the word magazine on the other side of business and the Bible. That's our umbrella. <laughs> so I like to say navigate through the water. And I hear water or rivers, I just perk up because that's my thing. <laughs> okay. So we looked at, um, there's more than just rotation. So you guys work with them to get them to the next place, you know, so they can be successful, as you just said. And another thing about being successful is, you guys, when you when you make the money, make sure you sow, sow your tithes and your offerings into a ministry, you know. And, and if, if you're not in the church, then get in the undercover. Because I know a lot of times artists are old, they travel a lot, and they're not able to get in the church on a Sunday. But there's so much that nowadays with technology, you can still listen to the Word of God and worship and send your seed in. But you gotta you gotta be honest because. Look what happens with a husband and a wife in the Bible. There's a husband, and when he, he sold, he, they sold a field, and they knew how much they sold it for. And when they got before the man of God, they decided to hold back some of the money. Well, you know what? They thought they were lying to the man of God, but what they were doing was they were trying to um, lie to him, but they were lying to God. They were tempting the hand of God, and that's what the word says that they did. And then what happened is, when, when they were called out, the man of God discerned. And I know like in business, Kenny, I'm sure that you've had some situations where you discerned the artists weren't being straight with you. They weren't quite telling you the truth. And you discern that. And God gives us that when we're in business, when we're in leadership in business, he gives you a discernment. So here is, here's the man of God and they're, they're, he's holding back money and saying, he, he, he said he, didn't, he only sold the land for a certain amount. But it's like, isn't it, wasn't it your land to sell anyway? Why would you come and tempt? The hand of God like that. Why would you tempt the Holy Ghost like that? So you know what happened to that guy? He dropped dead. Died, guys. He gave up the ghost right in front of the man of God. He was not just dealing with any man, every man on the street. He was dealing with an anointed man of God, a disciple of God, a minister of God. And not only that, he was actually tempting the hand of the Father and the Holy Ghost. And so, gone. Then three hours later, his wife comes through. And guys, this is serious business. God doesn't want you to lie about, about your money. He wants you to pay your tithes and orphans. And he wants you to tell the truth about it. So then comes the wife three hours later. And guys, she did the same thing because she didn't know that her husband, they took him, they wrapped him up, wound him up, took him out and buried him. And then the wife comes in and she does the same thing. They ask her the same question. It's like, oh, no, you know, only for a certain amount. Why would you tempt God like that. Why would you, it, it was yours to sell and give. Why would you do that? Guess what? Drop dead. And they, they, and they, they told her before she dropped in, the men, the men's feet that carried your husband and buried him are here to take you next. And she gave up the ghost and gone. That's how serious it is. I'm not saying God's going to drop you dead, but I don't know the whole plans of God. Nobody does know that. And I don't wish that on anybody, but I'm trying to give you the understanding of how serious it is not to tempt God. Kenny, in, in, in the music business, I'm sure there's like trans money transactions and things that take place. What are some helpful tips that you can share with the artists about money transactions and business um, and how to handle that the appropriate way? 
Oh, that's a very good question. Uh, <laughs> I have a lot to say on that right there. Oh, good. Because um, many artists do not know how to manage their money when it comes when they do make money, and that's one of the big problems in it. A lot of uh, artists do not invest their money into a retirement plan because you got to remember you're self-employed, and at some point. You, your health and you're, you're going to get the age and stuff is going to catch up to you and you're going to need something to invest into you to, to, you can't just sing all your life and go on concert tours and everything like that. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to have some kind of nest egg that you're going to have to invest your money in in case things like that happen. Mm -hmm. And also get your money to create wealth for you. Okay. Now, don't just go out here and spend money on material things, but invest it that your money can grow wealth for your sib for your for your offspring and so forth. So these are things, these are some tips that I give to the artists all the time is that start thinking about how to make your money stretch for a long period of time. And many of them don't do that because they get the first, you know, big chunk of change that they get mm -hmm. and they end up spending on the material thing, which is okay, but you got to think long-term if you want to be in long-term in this business. Yes. Because this is a business where you could be here today and gone tomorrow. So you got to really prepare for what's, what might be the next thing. Cause you don't know where your next deal is going to come yes. as, as an independent artist. You don't know where your next gig is going to come. So you got to always keep the preparation, be prepared for all, all those things to happen in case it does happen. And that way you will have something to fall back on if it does. Amen. Good tips. Yeah, there were two main words that jumped out when you spoke was wealth and transaction. And that's kind of what we've been talking about. The transaction business transactions are serious matters to God, as we can see. And guys, if you want to uh, follow up on that study about what we were talking about tonight, it was uh, Ananias and Sapphira. It was in uh, Acts 5. Uh, Acts 5, verse 1 through 10. Sorry about that. Kind of like the pause. <laughs> Grab it out. But Acts 5, 1 through 10. Go and study up on that and read about Ananias and, 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 and Sapphira and how they, they cheated God <laughs> with the money so you, uh, that you'll have better transactions with the Lord. And the other thing was the wealth. God gives us uh, power to get the wealth, but he also says the wealth is for the building the kingdom. What a lot of people want to do is get a, a pile of wealth and get these big mansions and 10 cars like Dude, you can only drive one car at a time. Why do you have 10? There's a, a mom down the street with kids walking and catching a bus in the rain and, and cold. Give her a car. Why are you why are you driving 10 cars? You know, it's like the greed of things is just too much. And you don't have to buy everything you see with your little greedy eyes see. <laughs> and don't take that offensively, but we do that, you know. So there you don't have to do all that. God wants you to have to live a good life. I'm not saying you can't have a nice house and a nice car and all that, maybe a truck a boat. Yeah, live your good life. He expects us to enjoy this life, but he also expects us to be a blessing. We're blessed to be a blessing, and that's where some people have kind of fallen off. You got a whole United States and abroad with people that are in need, and God expects us to bring the tithes and offerings and to, so that everybody, they distributed it out and everybody had to go back and read Leviticus because some of us have gotten away from that where you bring the money to the church like this couple was supposed to do, bring the money to the man of God, the man of God would bring it into, into the storehouse and then the people in the community, if they didn't have enough, they would come to the, the, uh, the storehouse and they would distribute it out amongst them and then from that point, then they would take a, a, a portion of it for the Levitical priesthood, then they took their 10% and sold it to the, uh, to the high priest, then the high priest took 10% and sold it back into the church, so it was a revolving 360 all the time, what are we doing now? Half of the people go to church poor and leave out poor and never get a need met. Life getting turned off. Single moms can't feed kids. No. We have got to get back to the Bible basics so that everybody can be blessed. They say we're going to have the poor with you always because there's always a generation coming up. But that doesn't mean oh, you're supposed to stay poor all your life. No. That's not God's way. And when people start being so selfish and be, uh, do transaction God's way, 
and be honest about the money, God will God will give you way more than you're trying to keep back. And you have more than enough to bless others and not buy everything in the world that you can't use uh, for once, one time at a moment time or one bedroom you can sleep in. You got 20 bedrooms? I mean, come on. <laughs> so we have to get back to the Bible basis, guys, because we're getting, you know, some, the world's got out of hand on some things like that. But anyway, so when we're looking at the uh, transactions, you gave some great tips, Kenny, awesome tips. So now we've got the, we got them um, making money. And one of the thoughts that came to me, because you said you got to have a nest egg, was what about if the music industry starts like um, a program like they have with the football players? The football players have to uh, create a foundation. So some of that money goes in the foundation to help the community. What if the music industry start doing something like that? You know, create where they have a foundation where when you come in as an artist, then you're required to put money over here. You know, once they get to that place where they can start putting money away. You know, that's just a fault. You know, just a, yeah. Something. Yeah. it may not be that, but something to help them, you know, and then also uh, I know some of them are hard headed. They want to, they don't want to listen, but do you guys have anything in place that an artist can do uh can do or there's tr some training some classes courses or anything that you guys in the in the music industry that are promoting and managing the radio is there anything in place that you guys teach for the artists okay here invest this way like stocks real estate is there anything that you guys do to work with them in that area well me and my wife we've been working together um we have a um we're about to start a company called Troy Money Management Solutions. Ah. And um, both of us are gonna be the head of the company. And we're gonna teach artists about certain things like how to grow their money, annuities, um, you know, some of the wealth building tips that's out there already. And and those are the things that we, we, we see so many times that many people get more, a lot of money, but they spend it all and they don't know how to keep it. So that's the main problem is we're going to come up with some strategies on how to keep it. And that's the main thing is how can they keep their money from this generation to the next generation? Because that's where all the other people or groups of people in this country, they, they got that generational wealth and yeah. we don't. And so we got to really get into teaching that type of uh, so strategy to be able to help them get from A to B. In, in this in this industry now back to the other part where it said when you talk about the the uh music industry trying to start um those types of programs they they got them but there's a lot of people that don't know that the industry don't promote it because the industry is designed to make money off of you as, yeah. as an artist so they're not going to promote anything that goes against the grain uh, and I'm just being oh. real honest with you, but hmm. uh, but you, that's why you got to hook up with the right people and have the right P yeah. team because there are certain people that's in the industry that can be able to help you get from mm -hmm. A to B. And that's the key right there is connecting with those people. Not yeah. so much the industry people, but more so the people that have the vision to say, okay, I want to see your career go from 15, 20 years. I want to see you go be here in a long time. You know, they look out for the well-being of the artist. And we yeah. don't have that many of us out there that's doing that because everybody's trying to capitalize off of the individual and their talents and try to make money. And that's the big sin that's going on in the industry right now. And it has been going on for years. Yes. Wow. That, I'm glad you brought that up. That is so important because, I mean, I've um, since I've been working, God has kind of threw me in the music stuff. I'm a writer. I'm a dancer. I'm a teacher. I was not trying to be in the entertainment and, and the gospel singers. God just pushed me right into there because he knew I wouldn't just do it on my own. So he started making them come to me for the magazine. And that's how I got really into the gospel arena. And one of the things that I, I see and I hear all the time constantly from people like you and your platform and uh, managers is that the, the, the singers do not have good business sense. And then on the other side, you got the, the sharks out there. They want the money. They want to promote you and move you fast and get the money. And then when you fall apart, don't have anything, you're like, you should, you should have managed your money. No, you brought those babies in. You should have helped them and taught them and been fair to them. But see, like we talked about earlier, they're moving fast. And, and, I'm, and I'm talking about the, the, the higher ups now, you know, off of the singers, but the managers, the producers and, and record label companies, 
there are a lot of them out there that are just cheating these poor babies, you know, because they know they don't know any better. They bring them in, they rob them up, and next thing you know, and the horror stories, a lot of them end up on the streets because they didn't, they didn't understand the contracts, they didn't understand what they should have been doing about money, you know, they didn't understand how to manage it, so they, you know, they squandered whatever they, little bit they did get, and then the rest they should have gotten was stolen from them. And it's really sad, but what these guys don't understand, and some women, too, in those in the management field, they don't understand that God has seen that, and their day is coming where it'll be wiped from them just as, just as bad as it was for that, that poor person that was a singer. You know, so those were some really good points you, uh, you made. And guys, I, I, I really, really pray that you will follow what Kenny is saying because Kenny is a man of God. He's not trying to cheat his artists. He's not trying to cheat you. And he's telling you true things. And some people may get mad about the truth, but we can't help that because in at the end of the day, Kenny, myself, and others, we're responsible for what God put in our hands. We're responsible for being good good guide, guidance, uh, uh, good caregivers, you know, protecting what what we what we've been given. So when we when we help people, we need to do it in, with integrity. We got to do it with compassion. We have to do it according to the Word of God. Business and the Bible are not separate. As you can hear tonight, listen to Kenny and his tips and the things he's been saying. The business and the Bible are not separated, guys. Everything he's been bringing forth, I can come back into the Word and we merge it together because he follows the ways of God too. And you can hear it in what he's saying. He is concerned about your artist and what he and his wife are about to do right now. Oh my gosh, I want to take your class. <laughs> I cannot wait to, to have you and your wife come on and talk about your business once you get that going, Kenny. So we're going to we're gonna have to have you both of you back on uh, yeah, to talk yeah, about yeah. that. Definitely, um, yeah, definitely love to do that because that that is one of the great things that the industry needs right now. We need people to teach other people how to manage their money, and, and entertainment is no different. Um, you mentioned yeah. the word integrity, and that this is the one key ingredient that was uh, that uh, integrity will lead you far in many places. And, and let your yes be a yes. Let your no be a no. Say what you're gonna do and do it, and yes. you know don't don't do anything opposite because that don't make you believable, and 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 that's integrity will carry you a long way in whatever you do in life, and that's the one important thing. If it, anything that I didn't say in this in this broadcast is that it's probably the most important thing is to having the integrity in in this business. Yes, amen. Integrity is a good key word, and a lot of people have lost that. They, 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 and and what another thing I run across is the joy of the Lord is our strength. And I see people in the in the music industry; they're mean. They have ugly attitudes. Like, where's your joy? You're you're representing the gospel, and this ugly, snotty attitude and red tape. You can't come talk to me. No, you know you're a servant, and most of them want to feel like serve me. No, we're servants when we've been given a platform to minister the word of God through song, through uh, my writings in the magazine, inspirational writings, whatever God is giving you to share the gospel. You're not the the. The, uh, the master, you're the servant. And if we could get back to that mindset that God, we called us to serve. You know, people in high places are to us to serve those that he's given them. Jesus said, Father, I pray for those you've given me. We need to pray for the people that have been given to us. And we need to treat them fairly and not be ugly about it. And another important thing that uh, to be successful in business is to ask God which business he has ordained you to be in. And that's something God was speaking to me because a lot of times it may, it, uh, it may look like a good thing. You may be making money, but is it the right thing? Is it the ordained thing that God has called you to? Obviously, God has called you to what you're doing. Your platform is nice. It's solid. It's successful. You're doing great. And I just love your platforming. And, oh, guys, I encourage you to tune in and listen. I've tuned in several times, and it is really good. The music flows, and, and there's no interruption. There's no, like, oh, what was that? No, the music just flows. It just relaxes you. It's peaceful. I love his platform. So I encourage you to definitely listen to the indie music. Uh, network 100%. And the other thing is about ordain. God has ordained us to do specific things in the earth because there's souls out there hanging in the balance, waiting on what he put in us to bring to the table. And just like with you, God know he needed worshipers to go out. He needs that music out. So he gave you the gift to do what you do. And I am so happy. And I'm glad that he's allowed you to connect with us. We are blessed to have Kitty Choi as our sponsor because those are those are anointed hands that are covering us. And and guys, you have to understand it. Don't sow your seed anywhere. When you're sowing money, it's a 
business in the Bible, not separate, right? When you're sowing money, sow it in good ground where it'll prosper and multiply. Because there are a lot of places you can sow your money. Because I see people um, running after platforms that look big, but are those hands ordained and are they anointed? So make sure you're praying, God, what do you want me to do? What 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 have you put in me to give to this world, to bless this world? So we're we're gonna have to come kind of um uh, come to a close here. We only have a few little minutes. So Kenny, is there anything else that you would like to share with the people just for just you know a few minutes that we have left? Can you share anything else that you would like to give to the people? Sure. Uh, like to um I like to share with with them that, that you know. There's a lot of opportunity out here for ours. I don't give up. Um, don't give up on your dream. Please don't keep, um, don't act selfishly in the matter. Uh, keep God first in, in your in your pursuit of your careers because that is going to be very important uh, throughout your career. And also seek the type of relationships and build those relationships that you will need to be successful. Um, it's one thing to say, well, I, hey, Kenny, I'm, I'm, I'm here to talk to you and everything, but you can't go weeks at a time without talking to the person. Relationship has to be built both ways. And so you got to have a solid relationship, both parties, in order for to have the, the success that you want to have in the industry. And I know people say, well, I don't have time to talk. You got to make time. Yes. And that's the main thing. You have to make time to talk to the important people in your life, in your circle, in your career to make it happen because that is going to be it takes a team to build what you're trying to do it doesn't take one individual it takes a team and a solid yes. team at that yes thank you so much well guys that's going to be it for our broadcast tonight we want to thank you for coming for tuning in and please share 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 and like and tell others about us we're uh w uh wy um oh i went blank <laughs> I'm sorry, WYTV7.org. Having a senior moment there. And that's another good thing. Laugh at yourself. Don't get angry. It's okay. We all make error. Uh, so we're uh, nonprofits. So if you guys, please visit the website, uh, WYTV7.org, and, and, and sow a donation there. And also remember me. This is in the Bible uh, broadcast. You can click on my broadcast and make a donation. To, uh, make sure you tell the network that you, when you're making this course, the business in the Bible, so they'll put it in my account to help keep us spreading the gospel. But we just got a minute left, Kenny, just really quick. Can you just give everybody your contact information, and then we're going to have to uh, go ahead and go. Yes, you can contact me on Facebook, on uh, Kenny Troy, uh, LinkedIn, Kenny Troy. Um, you can contact my station, which is uh, www.indiemusicnetwork.com. Uh, also, you can hit us up on our Facebook page, Indie Music Network Entertainment, Twitter at Indie Music Network, that's I-N-D-I-E, M U S N E T W R W R K, um, and then we got the um, other um, venues like Mixcloud. You can reach us there too, as well. And our email address at indiemusenet at gmail .com. Amen. Well, Kenny, we want to thank you again for your sponsorship and hosting us, keeping us on the uh, air and spreading the gospel. We may God bless you a hundredfold return for what you've done. We really appreciate you being our sponsor. And again, guys, this is WYTV7.org, a nonprofit organization. Please so see, visit our website so you can uh, donate to our program to keep us on the air to spread the gospel as well as business and the Bible. Uh, I'm Pam Jones, CEO. And you, we've had our guest tonight, Kenny Troy with Indy. Network Entertainment and Troy Town, I mean, Indie Network, uh, Indie Music Network, and uh, Troy Entertainment, Troy Town Entertainment. I'm sorry, guys, but thank you for tuning in tonight, and thank you so much, Troy, for joining us. Pleasure to be here. Thank you.